from the very beginning that I became active in speaking out, which would have been in the early 1970s, I've always been doing the same thing, and that is campaigning for liberty. And uh, there are different vehicles. I never, never quite saw myself as a um, politician, and uh, quite frankly, I don't even think they know what they're doing in Washington, and I don't think you're gonna find the answers in Washington. You're gonna find them out here someplace for the people to understand what's going on, and that, is, that should be our goal. Understand liberty, and then our government will change. Liberty guarantees that uh, you have a right to your life, and you have a right to your liberty, and you ought to have a right to keep the fruits of your labors, which means that you do what you want, Bear the responsibilities. If you do well, the government shouldn't come and take it from you. Then, under those circumstances, obviously, we would not have an income tax, and that would be a rather good start to correcting some of our problems in this country. We just didn't have an income tax. But, you know, uh, the vicious attack that we had on liberty in 1913 didn't only include the income tax, but they did that other little thing called the Federal Reserve System. But if we want to enhance the productivity of this country and enhance liberty, we would further understand what the monetary system is all about and why it has caused us so much trouble. And under those circumstances, we wouldn't have a Federal Reserve either. We would do away with the Federal Reserve System.